Hey H5 friends, how are you guys doing? How's it staying at home? Well, I can tell you this, I am definitely missing the outdoor world, but I still connect with all my friends and family virtually, just like I'm sure all of you guys are. So now I came across this wonderful game. You may know it, Animal Crossing New Horizons. It's the new one. And I'm so excited to share with you. I've been playing this for a few days now, so I'm not starting from the beginning. You'll see how my village looks and I will show you what I'm gonna be doing tonight. This is my wonderful little house area that I have. Excuse me for the mess, I have little clothes lying around. And the good thing about this game is that you can custom make designs and I custom made a few designs. I got my, you know, starter Pokemon here and I got my derp Pokemon. I got an extra Pikachu hiding there because my oven's on all the time. Let me show you inside my house. I think it's so pretty. I call this the cherry blossom room. It's the springtime room. Wow, it's so wonderful. So right now, because it's April, there's two events going on. There is the spring event and then there's the, there's the cherry blossom event where you can collect a bunch of cherry blossom petals and then you can craft wonderful things like wallpaper, clothes, and little accessories for your house. And then there's also, of course, the Easter event. Yay, Easter event, woohoo, let's clap for it. So there's also the Easter event and I have a, I have an extra room here that I call my Easter room. Oh yeah, look at my Easter outfits. I collected a lot of Easter eggs. So everywhere around your village, right now it's nighttime. So right now it's nighttime in my village, which means I'm trying to find tarantulas right now because tarantulas are a rare species of animal on the island and they're worth a lot too. If you sell a tarantula, they're worth 8,000 bells or was it 6,000? 6, 6,000 or 8,000 bells, I don't remember. Also got some coconut trees here too, walking around my island. So my island, if you can see on the right bottom of my screen, that's the shape of the island I chose. There's different types of islands you can choose when you start the game, but that's just as, hey, it's my goat friend, hello. It's Sherb, whoa, I just can't shake you today. Let's chat. The plaza is so neat with other folks here, it can get rowdy. That's when I like to run around like an airplane. And when nothing's happening here, I like to lay down in the middle of everything and take a nap. Well, there's nothing really here in my town. My town isn't fully developed yet. I just started the game not too long ago. So it takes time because this game plays in real time. It takes a day, it takes real time days, nights, mornings to kind of expand your village a bit and kind of to expand your village a bit, you know, to develop things more. So I started off by with a tiny little home like everyone starts off with. Actually, you start off with a tent. So you live in a tent first, and then you have to build your home. I'm trying to catch this fish. So the frustrating thing about this fish is just, you have to cast it in front of it, otherwise it won't see the bait. And then you wait for the right moment to catch the fish. What did I catch? Woohoo, I caught a carp. It's funny, because everything you catch, they give these little cute little puns with everything you catch. So you get a camera and it kind of gives you, you know, you're not just going around blatantly, just kind of collecting things. You, there are tasks you can do. So you go to, to collect Nook Miles or Bells. So right now I'm just doing the Nook Mile Plus task because these ones help you get, these ones help you get Nook Miles a lot more faster. So I just need to catch one bug and then I can get 150 nook miles and you can use those nook miles to buy outfits you can use them to go to mystery islands which is actually a really good thing if you keep going to mystery islands because those islands contain fruits that not that are generally not grown in your island or like or rare flowers too so i think my island my island is a pear island i grow pears that's my island fruit some other islands they grow peaches or cherries or other type of fruit. I don't, I'm not sure what all the fruit islands are. They might do an update and add more fruits. You can also go to a tarantula island apparently, but to go there, it's you to go there, you have to go past 7 p.m. Because if you go past 7, that's only when all the tarantulas come out. So I have a good little neighborhood. And of course, you know, when you start off, you don't have all the tools. So you have to get all the DIY cards, the do-it-yourself cards. 
and then you collect these and you collect and make these tools to get around your island. So if you don't have a bridge to get across the streams yet, you can't get onto the other parts of your island either. And then you also, sometimes you, you I use a pole, a vaulting pole to get across my river. I have to use a ladder to get on top of, to get to the taller parts of my island. And cause that's, cause different, different places in your island, you can catch different types of animals and type, types of insects and fish. For example, river fish, you can catch different river fish. You can catch, ooh, I caught a cherry salmon. So I just caught up an egg that's not a fish. What should I do with it? What you do with it, you collect them and then you can craft stuff. But I have so many water eggs, I'm just gonna drop them. And the cool thing about these eggs is that you can actually eat it. Nom, 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 nom. So tip number one, you don't need to fill your food counter. The food counter is on the top left there. When you eat something, you really only need to eat one thing to to create a heavy action. So if I want to shovel this whole tree, I really only need to eat one thing to do it. Boop. And I put a tree in my pocket. So that's the cool thing about these. You can steal trees from other islands and plant it onto your island if you don't have it. Wah, ta da magic. There's so many things to do. There's so many, trust me, you will spend hours on hours and hours playing this game, getting to where you want to be, building your village, building, building clothes, customizing clothes, customizing your look and everything. I like the beach and sometimes you get extra friends. So I think once your town has fully developed, you can invite up to 10 animal friends to your village. And you can also connect and play with your other friends online too. You can visit their village. I remember I visited my friend's village and I totally just kind of took all her flowers. She wasn't really happy about that, but I needed it on my island because you can't get everything. You can't get everything in one day. You can't get everything in a week. It takes day by day. And even the animals too, they come season by season. So if you, if you head over to your Critipedia, mine's very, very blank. I haven't collected everything. There's no way you can collect all of it unless you unless you do the time warp kind of function but that's not a good idea because that can mess up the events that's uh, happening in in your village at the moment but yeah there's no possible way you can collect everything within a week within a month each insect each insect and fish they come at different seasons of the year so for example this is this is the month of april i think i can only catch certain fish in the month of april march and whenever so you really, this is a really patient play day by day kind of game. And also if you know, you're know you super OCD and you have that built into you, you're gonna wanna collect everything and you're gonna wanna wait and collect everything. Oh, it's a turn. Is that a tarantula? That's not a tarantula, but it's a bug head walking around. You gotta be very careful walking up to bugs. You gotta sneak up on them. Otherwise they just kind of fly away. The fastest way to make bells, which is your game currency in the game, the fastest way to, to, to collect bells is just really catch everything you see. That's the quickest way. Catch it all and sell it. Sell what's necessary. Don't sell, you know, don't sell, don't sell materials that are hard to get, like the, like you, you, you don't want to sell raw, you don't want to sell stones, you don't want to sell iron nuggets because you're going to need that later on in the game. You definitely don't want to sell your Nook Mile tickets because that gets you to go to Mystery Islands. And you don't want to sell your tools, of course, because you're going to need them always to catch everything on the island. So really sell everything. So really sell fish, fruit, insects, even, even leaves sometimes flowers you can sell and they all come at a different price list too so they don't all sell for the same price harder things to catch are always is obviously more expensive so i'm just gonna go to my little house and put away some stuff before i head over to the island when you go to the island there's just so many things you want to take home with you but your pocket is only so large so i always try to empty my pockets as much as i can before i head to the island so i can cat so i can take back 
as much as I can. Another thing is you don't want to pluck all your flowers either because these flowers attract different types of insects. If you pluck them all away, the insects are not going to come and you want to plant as much flowers as you can. I love this scenery right now because right now they're doing the cherry blossom event and all and a lot of the trees are pink and it looks it just looks wonderful. I love this gameplay. So I'm going to head over to my Dodo Airlines. And when you visit your friends, make sure you have a good internet connection because you don't want that leg. I want to fly. Roger. So just to get all the paper, rock all official, where'd you want to go? Use my Nook Miles ticket. Yes, I do. Roger. I'm ready to get you in the sky right this minute, but let's just check. You all pack tools already? Make sure you guys have your tools. But even if you don't, if you have the materials to make the tools, the island will have a workbench for you to make tools. Time for takeoff. So there's many, many mystery islands they can take you to. And mo most of the times they'll take you to a common mystery island, which, you know, kind of sucks because you have basically everything on that island, on your island. So you want to try to take your chance and get to go to one of those rare islands. But again, this is a random draw when they take you to an island. So you never know which island you're going to. I got taken to a really common island. So everything on this island I already have on my island. Again, when you do the when you do the Nook Miles ticket, it's a random draw of what island you you get to. Even though you should still collect as much resources here as you can, it just, you know, when you see this and you're gonna see it quite often when you get taken to a common island, you're gonna don't be disappointed because there's still lots of things to collect here and to sell. And the respawn rate for fish and insects are a lot quicker here so you may want to spend some time here collecting stuff bringing back cherry blossom trees you can bring back a fruit tree anytime i go to a common island like these i always bring back palm trees because palm trees don't normally grow on my island so i just want to take the tree with me and put it on my beach so right now i'm collecting grass because if you check your nook miles plus you have all these kind of tasks and i'm just collecting grass to sell so i can continue so I can continue earning Nook Miles. And you know, the Easter event, you'll see Easter eggs on trees too. You're gonna wanna take that too if you wanna collect in, if you wanna collect and craft all, get the Easter DIYs, which is fun stuff. See, you need the ladder, because I don't have, it doesn't have a, you need the ladder to get on top because it doesn't have a ramp for you to get on top. You can shake the trees and grab the fruit or you can just take the entire, or you can eat something and just take the entire tree with you and then plant it in your island. There, and that way you don't need to, you don't need any fruit seeds to plant trees because it will take about three days to grow a full tree or maybe even more, I'm not sure. And these X's in the holes means you need a shovel to dig it up. Hold. Boop. I got an earth egg. Do I really need that? Mm, sure, I'll take it. I'm collecting grass. I need gr I need weeds. Oh, a fossil. So fossils are, are really rare. They're a good addition to your museum and they sell for a lot too. So make sure you collect all the fossils. And before you even sell the fossils, you have to get it assessed by the owl inside the museum. So I'll show you guys when I get back to the island. Right now, I'm just collecting everything I can since I already have everything here. And here's another tip for you guys. When you guys see rocks like this, do not eat a fruit and break it right away. You, you can grab more materials just by hitting it with a shovel or a stone axe and it will pop, it'll pop out more materials. Um, it'll, it'll, it's better to do it this way so you get you gain more materials than you do from breaking the rock entirely. Because if you break the rock, you will only get one source of material and you want more. More is always better in this game. And clay, clay, iron, and gold nuggets are really hard to get in this game. So please try not to sell them. You need to use them later on in the game to expand your island. And again, it's really hard to get these. So you don't want to just break the rock. Woo, I caught a centipede. Some of these bugs are really, really, really gross to look at. But you need them to complete your critopedia. That's what they call it. Your dictionary, your encyclopedia of insects and butterflies and fish. 
Too bad they don't have one for flowers and fruit trees. You can also dig up these the flower, these flowers if you don't have them in your island and you can put them in your pocket and take them home and plant them in your own island. So there's so much flexibility to this game too. And another important tip you guys should know, anytime you shake the tree, always carry a net when you shake the tree. I learned this lesson because every time, because in the beginning when I was shaking trees, a wasp nest would fall and you would get stung if you don't catch the wasp nest on time. Each of these islands will have at least one wasp nest and one, one maybe furniture item that falls off a tree. You have to really shake the trees to find out. Um, if I can find a tree with a wasp nest, I will show you what I'm talking about. And if you get stung, then your face is swollen. And then when you talk to the townspeople, that's all they can talk about is your swollen face, like this. Hit A really quickly to catch the wasp. Or otherwise you will get stung and then your face will be all swollen and it doesn't look pretty. It's happened to me one too many times. Can you eat a coconut? Don't worry, the coconut will grow back when I eat it. Oh, the coconut will grow back when I plant the tree. I just want to take the palm tree home with me or back to my island. Boop. Which is the really cool thing because you know, a whole coconut tree just fits into your pocket. You can also take, really you can take anything. You can take the rock, you can take the coconut trees, the regular trees, everything. You must take everything. Oh, and the quite, the annoying part about this game is if you don't make good tools, they will break on you easily. So my trick is to carry around, my trick is, I don't have it on me, but my trick is to carry around a DIY bench, a DIY workbench with me everywhere I go. So that way, if I'm in the middle of, an, and if the, so that way, if I don't want to run all the way back to my town or to my house to create a tool, I just plop it on the ground. And if I have the materials I need, I make it right then and there and continue my, can, and continue fishing or collecting insects, which is the great part about it. When you go onto these mystery islands, you want to take back as much as you can. Some, some of the, everything on a mystery island always sells for a lot more because they're not typically on your island or they're not typically from your island, except in this case where everything on this island is already from my island. But in other cases, if you go to a rare island that generates fruit that's not from your island, you wanna take as much as you can because you want that on your island too. The goal of this game is to make it, the goal of the game is to make your island the best island as you want it to be. There's no really end goal to this game. It's it's a grindy, it's a grindy day by day kind of game. Play to your satisfaction, I would say. And you know, make friends, say, make friends, make friends, catch fish and catch insects. I'm so powerful, I can shovel a whole palm tree. <laughs> Too bad I can't do that in real life. Can you imagine you just eat one fruit and you have huge superhuman strength? I think that's it for my island. I've collected as much as I could and as much as I want to bring back. So my whole inventory is full right now. I can't carry anything else and I don't want to drop anything else either. I'm gonna head back. When you're ready, you just leave. You talk to the dodo bird, the dodo bird of the dodo airlines. I'm ready to go home. You ready to punt platoons and fly soaring windflower here back to Uwu Island? Oh, by the way, my island is called Uwu Island. Roger. Welcome back to Uwu Islands. Uwu. Yeah, I just have a bunch of Easter eggs laying around because I don't really need it. I've crafted a lot of Easter stuff. I put a skeleton in front of my museum because it has that museum e feel. There's not much in there, but I promise I will catch as much as I can and bring you guys back in here for a tour. This is Blathers. You can get him to your village when you start by donating about five fish or five insects to the town the town mayor and then he will come and build a museum there and then you can make donations. But right now I want him to assess my fossil, which I collected on my mystery island. Let me see here. Hmm, indeed. <laughs> it's so cute, it hoots. It's an ophthalmo skull. Quite remarkable. And most of the times if it's not most of the times I just donate. 
all my fossils and new fish and stuff. You can't donate the same thing again. You can only donate it once because that's all they need. You can either display it in your house or you can just sell it. Or you can, you can gift it to your friends too. Let me put this right here. This is what it is. Oh, that's big. Yeah, I think I will just sell it. Timmy and Tommy, the raccoon. The raccoon sellers. They're so cute. And I will also sell my fruit because I have a lot of that. I see, and oh yeah, my grass. Woohoo, sold. Every time you make an upgrade to your house, you pay an outstanding balance to the town mayor. And the town, and as the town, you cannot make any more upgrades until you pay off your debt. So this is actually a really good game if you want to learn to save money and pay off your debts. So right now, you, there's a there's like this Nook ATM machine inside the mayor's tent, and then I just kind of want to deposit some money off. So you, my loan balance is 348,000 bells, and so far I've only saved 130,000. So. I collected some, let me deposit about 80,000 bells to contribute to my debt. So I'm still about 130 or so bells, 130,000 or so bells away, which is fine because every day when you're collecting, when you're collecting fish or insects, you actually, you actually collect, you actually sell, you sell them and you collect bells really quickly. So don't let the numbers scare you because you guys can do it. So I'm gonna leave you off here. I'm gonna continue fishing and catching insects. I'm gonna start planting some of my, and I'm gonna start planting some of my palm trees here as well. I wanna plant it closer to, yeah. The more you plant, the better it is, the more wildlife you'll attract. So this was like the coconut tree I stole from the mystery island. I'm just gonna plant it all over my beach because it's looking bare. And plant one more right here. Just randomly plant it everywhere. So now my beach looks very tropical. Love it! So I'm gonna end off here. Thanks for visiting Uwu Island. Woohoo! Yay, you guys are amazing! And I'll see you guys real soon. So don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Check us out on TikTok. And I'll catch you later. Bye, friends. Ooh, woo.